guys, it's me, Caroline, coming to you from MC Beaters. I wanted to start my Amazon haul by first showing you how I store all my beads and charms and my jewelry making and purse charm making accessories and paraphernalia. So, um, yeah, I bought two of these off of Amazon. I will try and link the product, um, but I love these and it stores so much and they're very deep. So I just put per, uh, pearls. I put beads and charms of similar qualities, similar colors and whatnot in here. And I by no means am organized whatsoever. Um, and this is where I do all my crafting. I have my window open today for some natural sunlight. And I'm going to begin my uh, AliExpress haul. But the reason for a lot of these purchases are to make ornaments. And Marianne and I have a craft fair coming up the first weekend of December so um, stay tuned for that but the first thing I got were these and what you do for your cabochons is you can use the glass ones or these are so simple Scrap Diva 29 um, did a I believe a um, video on this oh crinkling alert those of you that are kind of like you get annoyed by the crinkling I can't I really can't control it because once I do this video, I put everything away. So what I'm saying is if I were to unpackage everything and then show you guys separately, I'd have beads and charms everywhere. So after my video, I then organize everything. So I open up all my bags and put it away. So if you don't like the crinkling sound, I apologize in advance. Okay. So anyway, um, this is for some, I was thinking of some images for Christmas and um, I was going to be using this and then put these. You get two packs of these in your order. So I will link all the sellers down below. And what I was thinking was I purchased two sizes of these. I forgot what you call them. I, I honestly don't remember. I, I never know the names of crafting items, but these are wooden and I was thinking this is for 25 milli meters which I believe is the equivalent a little bit over one inch and these are one inch so I'm if I'm not mistaken I believe I can find an image and put this clear cabochon cover over it and then attach it with some E6000 onto here and then put a uh, clear bail and turn this into a pendant or whatever a charm a dangle so I got them in the 25 millimeter and the larger size which I don't recall what it is I don't remember, but I will link it. Then I got these really super cute Christmas buttons. Oh my God, these are, um, I believe the images are of vintage snowmen. Whoops, sorry guys. And stuff like that. And again, I wasn't going to use this. I was going to just either, oh yes, I was gonna put these on the bigger one because they match the wood and maybe put some uh, stickles around. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. And I was going to turn that into a ornament with two clear bales, um, one for hanging the ornament and the other one for putting a bead dangle on the bottom because I, I put beads on everything. <laughs> so that was my train of thought there. And these are, I purchased some more clear bales. I can never say that. The, at the, I just messed it up. Okay, so got these as well. And I ordered these um, from, I think her name, if I'm mistaken, I'm going to put it up here, Bona on Instagram, and she makes these beautiful. I mean, I cannot even, here, let me take this out. Oh, yeah, here, Bona's Buttons. And these are flares. And again, the same thing. And she also included, oh, how nice. Well, here's her Instagram shop she included some stickers so i could put i got uh i think these are one inch so i got the vintage christmas i would open it but this would create a lot of sounds but um and she gifted me these they're a little bit bigger and she makes flare buttons i mean you have to go and patronize her store i love to buy from small shops and you know i know i buy a lot from Allie, but this is handmade product so i i got it i gotta do it so serenity serenity creations anna 
um, purchases a lot of these and makes so many um, projects with them. So that's why I purchased them. And also, hello, to use in my little project that I wanted to do. And I will be showing that. But I also have other plans for these. So I'm going to put these aside to show you. So I purchased these from AliExpress. And I'm not going to take them out. But these are some wooden, really small snowflake kind of, not snowflake, what am I saying, star ornaments, and I was going to use these as gift tags and put them on my Christmas gifts. You know, of course I would embellish them a bit. Then I got these. These are just so cute. Oh, I wish I could open these. You know what? Sorry, crinkling, crinkling. Oh, good. The mailman just went by. I just sent out a whole bunch of orders. So, um, so you get in this set, and again, same thing. I don't think I have to embellish these because I'm just going to put these with my, um, like if I give gifts to my colleagues, you know, it's cute to put one of these on the gift bag and they can always put it on their holiday tree or what have you. So this one is a snowman. This one is Santa. Another Santa. I think these two are the same. Okay. Yeah. So the two... These are so nice. I cannot wait. Or if like you give someone a wine, some wine for Christmas as a gift, you can just put this around the bottle. So super cute, okay. Um, okay, so I purchased these from Allie and this was my intention. Now you can use these as connectors. You can, you know, when you're making bracelets, these bezels can be used for almost anything. But what I was planning on doing uh -huh. I was going to take, um, again, I'm not going to open it up, but take one of these, pop them in here, or take an image, because it will fit, pop it in here, and then I'll put the hook for the ornament on the top here, and of course, a bead dangle. I have so many bead dangles already made, and I think that makes a really pretty ornament. So, I'm going to be working on that. I haven't really done so much crafting. I mean, purse charms take me forever to make. So when I make one purse charm takes me two hours and that's really what I enjoy the most creating. And of course jewelry, but, um, but it's so time consuming that sometimes I just, I'm like, I can't, I don't have the patience or the time. All right. These are, I use these as bead caps in my purse charms that I make that are fun and funky, you know, like my Hello Kitty or my Me my Melody or Little Twin Star or just, you know, Shabby Chic. So I use these as bead caps. Got more of these and oh my God, you have no idea how many. All right, let me just go quickly. I purchased these cupcake charms. I have so many charms. I think I need to like stop. Happy Mail or for Valentine's Day charms. Sorry, if I have glue on my fingers, I apologize because I was just working on a project. And look at that, My Melody. I love My Melody. I couldn't resist. I'm going to make a My Melody purse charm. I made one already. It sold out so quickly. And look at these little chicks. I couldn't resist for the spring or Easter. I can't. And I also got some snowman and this was going to be part of my bead dangles um but not with these because the metal is different you know it's very hard to find gold not gold silver tone charms but this would be part of my bead dangle and again I will upload a video once I get to that what other charms I want to get the charms out of the way um they're coming they're coming all right well then I got two of these. Here's one of the two. And this, I thought, I'm going to have to probably open this. Sorry, guys. Okay. Look how cute. You basically don't even have to do anything. It's done for you. And I can't read this. My reading glasses are not on. I don't know what it says. Oh, mezzo piano. <laughs> mezzo piano. That's Italian. Um, unless I'm not reading it correctly. Um, but this is really cute and you could just like put this on any kind of embellishment. I love this. Love, love, love. 
And then I got these because I was going to start some more jewelry making to sell in my shop. And these are so pretty. I was thinking of making earrings with a pearl dangle or just a pendant with a whole bunch of uh, dangles with those because everything, like I told you, I make everything with beads and dangles and fun bobbles. Here's another one of those. I believe this, oh, this one's a little bit different. Let me open this on the side so you don't hear. Okay. This one has a heart instead of a, oh no, that one had a heart too. Oh, this one has like a conch shell instead of the this one that had a more of a oyster shell. They're so pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. I think that is it for charms. Now my cabochons, okay. I was so excited to get these. Um, sorry guys, thank you going on. But I need to show you this because you can't really see it. Uh, I'm just open up the scissors and then I gotta pop this away. I might have to get more of these drawers because, okay. So these are so cute. So it these are little candies. So you get them in all different resin um, colors. They put like, I don't know what you call those, but there's just so many. I mean, this, this look at this one. So I was gonna pop a clear veil on it and just make like a candy themed purse charm, or I could make earrings into them because everyone seems to like those. I remember to put those away first thing. I also purchased these. I forgot who gave me the idea, but oh, okay. Got to open this one too. I'm sorry. These are, um, I grew up with this. This is my mel my Melody, Little Twin Stars. I, you know, it just brings me back to 1970. <laughs> but my sticker book collection, which I never stopped talking about. So here we go. I loved Little Twin Stars. I don't know why, but they just, they were just like the cutest. So you have Little Twin Stars, you have Hello Kitty, you have My Melody, um, and these are really cute. Again, you just pop a bail on these and you are good to go. Okay. Then I got these. These are dragonflies and... are I believe yeah there's a there's a tiny little hole you can put a jump ring through it and these are they come in all these different colors and these are really super pretty I love dragonflies whenever I see a dragonfly I think it's someone popping in and saying hi these I purchased to go with my whole theme I think I bought these for these yes I did and you get one, two, three times one, two, three, four. You get twelve in a pack, and they are the perfect size. I want to say they're about an inch and three quarters each, and that's probably what these are. But okay, and I got these cabochons, and oh god, little strawberries. These are so nice. I love resin cabochons. I just I could just like play with them all day. And these are from the same seller, except these are butterflies. These are bigger, and again, I get little visitations from monarch butterflies here in New York, even though they shouldn't be flying around, so I know who that is. And uh, again, they have holes in the back, or you could just put a bail. Sorry, uh, my neighbors are outside doing their leaf blowing, which I probably should be doing as well, because we're that house that has stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, moving forward, I got one, two, no wait, was this, no, that wasn't part of it, one, two, three, four, five, these are crystal beads, glass crystal beads, and I'm not gonna take them out, and they're strung already, and I believe they are eight millimeters, and uh, you can't beat the price, they're actually less expensive on Alley than if you were even to get your beads at Michael's with all those sales. So, couldn't resist, and then I got these. Different seller, but I love these as well. No, I think this is the same seller, but I chose the round beads instead of these, uh, these Bicon, I forgot. 
them. All right. I loved these beads. These are crocheted beads, and I was just like, Caroline, you have to get them and incorporate them into something just because they're so super cute. Then I purchased these charms. I do have more charms, and I love purple. Purple's my favorite color, so this would obviously go with a purple purse charm. Or I can make earrings or whatever. I thought these were bigger, these buttons, because I was going to... In fact, I don't even recall buying these. I'll be honest. I would not buy letter buttons. This might have been a freebie gift from the seller that I purchased the other buttons from. So, But I like them, and if they were, thank you. I purchased these... Um, hold on, let me open this up over here. Again, I don't want to... Oh, God. Here I go again, forgetting words. I forgot what you call these again. But I purchased them. I, ha I actually was selling them in my shop at a, at, with little kits at one point, and I stopped selling the kits because I couldn't keep up. But, um, again, I was going to put cabochons in these and um, make pendants. I have so many great ideas because I get them from YouTube and other wonderful, crafty people. But getting to it is another story. <laughs> okay purchased these these are snowman button i'm sorry beads right so it comes with the face and it comes with the little body right so i'm like well where's the hat okay caroline you're gonna have to make a hat so i purchased two of these and i bought some black washers you know like the washers that you use in between your you know screws or whatever you call them so i'm gonna put the head the body and then i'm gonna put a washer on top and then this, so it'll look like a hat. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Had to get these. Had to. Unicorn eyelashes. Totally. Like, I am going to make something with these. These are actually a, um, what do you call this material? I'm going to stop playing with it because it's going to start to get irritating. But these are not resin. This, these are shells, and I love, I'm not going to take it out, but... This is a, um, uh, what do you call the type of shell? Oh, it's huge. It's, I forgot the name of it, but I was going to make, um, these are connectors so you can put another dangle from underneath. Oh, no, you don't. No, there's only one hole on here. Abalone. Abalone shell, right? Okay. See, things come to me eventually. I purchased these. I thought they were so super cute, but I didn't realize how small they were. And I'm pretty good at reading the description. But if it's late at night and I'm just shopping, click, 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 I don't always do that. This was a double purchase. Probably pressed it twice because I purchased this once before. And these are, I think these are kitty cats. I don't know what these are. Oh my God, and they're glass. Yeah, this isn't resin. This is, I think this is glass. These are heavy. And these are like, I don't know if this, oh, these are foxes. These are little tiny foxes. Oh my goodness, so adorable. Yeah, these are really nice. Okay, and the last, purchase these. I follow and watch Happy Bird Glitter Nest. Um, she uses a lot of these types of, um, okay, let me open it up. Rhinestone type of embellishments with dangles on a lot of her projects and I'm like I need to have those on hand you know so that I can you know put one on a project or to make an ornament or something and you I mean these are so nice they work they were kind of pricey I don't recall but again I'll have the link and you get let's see two four six eight ten you get ten and you can put a bow on the back is that a hole I do not think it is but this will make anything I mean you can even make jewelry out of this so super pretty really really nice so this is what I got in my AliExpress and from Bona um hope you guys have a wonderful and glorious Thanksgiving if I don't speak to you before and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.